I'm Vincent Alexander, and to me, fishing is more than a fun recreation. Oh my god! It's about connecting with our human nature, our instincts to hunt, gather, and survive. I moved to the California coast so I could go fishing in my backyard 365 days a year. I'm learning about surf fishing, kayak fishing, all kinds of fishing. That's what I love, so that's what I do. This is a thank you video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my new GoPro Hero 7 Black. I got it in the mail. It's right here, I'm using it right now. But before I say thank you, I'd like to tell you the story so you understand exactly what happened. It was about a week ago, late April, I was out on the jetty here in Ventura. I caught a beautiful 26 inch white sea bass. I got the footage, I filmed the release. I was all excited to share it with you. And then I saw birds bombing out on the deep side of the jetty. So I grabbed my backpack, I ran to the end of the jetty, was casting, no bites, sunset, called it a day. I started walking off the jetty and I noticed my GoPro was not clipped onto my backpack. Where was it? And then it dawned on me. My net had snagged on a rock on my way to the end of the jetty and I heard a snapping sound. That was the clip of my GoPro falling off my backpack. It fell into the rocks, it was gone. I searched for like an hour. There was a woman there fishing. She even turned on her light on her cell phone and tried to help me search for like a half hour and we just couldn't find it. So she encouraged me to come back in the morning at sunrise and search. She said, you'll find it, you'll find it. So I wanna say thank you to June who helped me search for my GoPro and also her husband, Jim, who came over. It was nice meeting you guys and Jim knew exactly what I was going through. He said he had lost a GoPro on the jetty as well. So um, we talked fish for a while. He said he had caught a striper and a halibut, some corbina. Um, I gave them a, I gave them a Texas rig swim bait, one of the slimmer swimmers. I hope you guys have good luck with that out there. So naturally, I was pretty upset that I had lost my GoPro, and I was talking to myself on the way home, just asking myself, how can this be a good thing? How can this be an opportunity? And I told myself, well, I guess I'll just find a cheaper alternative to the GoPro. I won't spend $300 this time. I'll try some other competitor's brand. I'll discover that I like it, and then I'll have access to a cheaper model. That's what I was telling myself. So I got home, I jumped on Facebook, I posted, the Jetty ate my GoPro. Well, Aiden Woodruff made a comment. He said, you should start a GoFundMe and let your followers donate and buy you a new GoPro. And at first I thought, no, no, I can't do that. I don't want to ask people to give me money. I felt kind of lame about the idea of it. But I woke up the next morning and I thought to myself, go for it, Vincent. Be a little bit vulnerable. Ask. This is an opportunity for people to give because they want to, to contribute to something that they want to contribute to. And it's an opportunity for like your little community to gather together and for them to feel more connected to your videos. It's so cool. So, so I created a GoFundMe and I shared it on Facebook and then I went fishing. <laughs> and I came back about four, six hours later and to my astonishment, I had met my goal of $279. Not only that, I had surpassed it. You guys donated like $330. So it was just amazing to me that actually donated instantly to help me get a new GoPro so I could get back out there and keep making fishing videos. So I've got the GoPro, it's right here. I'm using it right now, it's beautiful, I love it. I'm so happy to have this thing. And I've already shot new video footage with it. We've got new fishing videos on the way. But right now, I wanna say thank you to everyone that donated so that I could get this GoPro. And now I wanna roll some footage of a really fun fishing session that I had with Ian Durham just recently. We caught a whole mess of yellowfin crooker. I think I caught like 10 this day. And it was just a total blast. They were really big. It was just a blast. I had one after the next, catch and release. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll that foot footage for you now. Now enjoy this awesome fishing video of us catching a bunch of yellowfin crow. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the next episode here. We're gonna do some casting, some reeling, see what comes up today. Got a friend I'm gonna be fishing with. Ian will be here just a little later. I got my Texas rig on. I just went with a small bait. 3.75 inch with the one out hook just in case there's any perch yellowfin croaker they tend to be in this area and i just got a bite yep 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 i know where the fish are i saw them as the as the 
wash was receding right there. I saw some fish that started casting right there. And I think that's uh, pretty much the head of the trough right there. So let's see here. Maybe we'll get one on this cast. Totally beautiful so far. There's no wind. Just look at my line. It's the lightest breeze. Just so light. The waves are really small, so I'm not getting pushed around. Beautiful. Nice temp. The uh, water clarity looks pretty clear. It's murky right here, but I think it's actually pretty clear. The water's on the dirty side right here. I think this is like where everything's collecting, right where I'm at. Which I think tends to be a really good spot to find fish. Based on experience, I like to fish this spot in a three foot tide and up. And if there's a sunset that correlates, that's even better. So today the sun is setting here at about three feet. So I'm thinking the next couple hours here have some good potential. We're gonna see what happens. Had a couple bites already so far. I've only been fishing for about 10 minutes. So some good news right here, guys. Check it. I've had a bite on almost every cast. I've only been fishing for 15 minutes. I've, been, I've had bite after bite and I've seen a fish. But here's the thing. I think they're all small perch so far. I think everything that I've seen and everything that tapped on my bait was a small perch so far. Um, nothing to get too excited about, right? But if there's a bunch of little perch in here, you know there's gonna be some predators in here too. The fish are here, the fish are here. So I think we're in for some good fishing tonight. Let's do this. There's a lot of pelicans flying pretty much right over my head today. They are expecting to find bait shallow right along the bank here. And that is a good, good thing. There it is. There it is. Bam. As soon as I cast, I, I opened up my hook, put it right back in the same spot instantly. Fish on. I'd say that feels like a yellowfin croaker right there. Yeah, we got a yellowfin right here. Number one of the day. Or is it a slab? No, it's a yellowfin. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice yellowfin. Take a look at this guy. Yeah, there's one right there. All right, let's get him back in the water. I've got plenty of fish at home, so I don't need to keep any today. I'm gonna leave my hook wide open, that was awesome. It's about time, man, I've had like 15 bites. I think they were all just tiny little perch just grabbing the tail. Here, let's get one more right here. Boom. The bite is, I think it's pretty much wide open right now. The bite is about as good as it ever gets around here. Bam, fish on. Look at that. It's like every cast. Another, another yellow fin, I think. Yep. They're fun to catch. All right. There's number two. Boom. Let's get number three. Here we go. Oh man, I can, I can, I can just feel it. It's gonna be a great, great, great session. It's already, it's already hot. It's hot. See? Tiniest little bit of weed on the hook. Really like to keep that hook tip exposed. So, this bait's kind of worn out. So. so there's like a deep spot. There's just like a deep spot where the waves aren't really breaking right there. And that's what I'm doing is I'm casting into that deep spot. And I, I know there's a sandbar around here too. So. so there's deep water next to shallow water. That's what's going on. Casting into the deep spot. I'm actually casting all over the place. Look at that bird. They're right, they're flying right over our head. Here comes another one down the way. Ah, oh, he came off. Dang. Twisted my bait up, came off. Alright, let's get back out there and get that fish. Probably another yellow fin. Well, 
I kind of want to just muscle them in so I can get back out for my next one. But I should slow down and smell the roses and enjoy this. Number three. Woo! Oh, look, a seal. See that seal that just came at me? Let's get him out of here. That's awesome, dude. Number four. Fighting pretty good. Try to keep the action on camera there so you can see the rod and my hands and everything. Number four is a big one. Look at that big daddy. How's that? Guys, we're having a pretty good day already. Number four. All right, this here is number five. This is number five. Hit it really hard. Hit it really hard. Another good one, I think. Man, these, these yellow fins around here are big. They all tend to be pretty big. Yeah. Look at that, dude. I would not be going hungry today. Guys, you gotta trust me when I say the Texas rig can do it. So today for the first time I'm fishing tungsten bullet weight. 3 8 ounce tungsten bullet weight. Thank you guys for recommending these. A couple of guys recommended these to me. Recently, I'm gonna get to their names later. But uh, I'm just so, I'm just absolutely floored. Blown away by the tungsten. I can't believe it. It casts so much better than the lead. Like, just does not, it just pierces right through the wind because it's so small. It has such a small profile. There's, there's like almost no wind resistance. Just making a big difference. So I'm absolutely going to be fishing tungsten bullet weights from now on. Six. Number six. Yeah. Sharing the action with you guys. Taking you fishing. Nothing like it, right? I love it. Six yellowfin, man. Six. Wow, what a day. I think tonight is going to be amazing. I think we're going to get the strikes back tonight. I think we will. All right. Number six. Thank you for joining us. We got Ian Durham with us here today. We are trying to get him on a striper, man. I think it's gonna happen. I think Ian's gonna catch a striper today. How many uh, croakers have you caught so far? Two down there. Two down there. Kind of spooked him. There's a lot of fish out here right now, man. You see all that current to my right? Look at all this current right here in front of me. Drifting to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and put some casts in there now. The tide is getting up now, so it's high enough that there's enough water over this shelf that some stripers might be coming in right now looking for food. To my left, there's deeper water. 
All I gotta do is just stand here, stand cast, and do a slow, steady retrieve along the bottom. And I will get lucky. Those fish are out here today. They're swimming around. What is this, number eight or number nine? I don't even know now. I guess we'll call it number eight. I don't even know. This is number eight or nine. Gosh, they are good sized fish, man. Look at that yellow fin. They've all been really nice sized fish so far. Wow. All those pelicans flying right past the moon. Here comes another pack of them, another flock. How beautiful. I love it. All right, Ian went home and I've decided to call today too. I've got an early morning tomorrow with the client and then I want to go try fishing a new beach. You know, I'm scouting an area. I've fished it a couple times so far, but I really want to see what happens on the outgoing to low tide tomorrow. So I'm going to get myself rinsed up, dried out tomorrow morning, get some work done and go fishing again. It's the routine, guys. Keep it up. Keep getting out there as often as you can. Keep putting in as many hours as you can. Keep fishing those Texas rigs. You're gonna get them fish. See you next time, guys. Thank you to everyone who donated for me to get this new GoPro. New fishing videos are definitely on the way, so stay tuned. The Texas rig can do it. Bye. Run out of time